The fact that we may have effectively figured out a cure for diabetes and Wilfred Brimley isn't here to tell us about it is a weird science fact that boggles my mind. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease where apparently your immune system really enjoys being on a sugar high so it murders all of your insulin producing cells. See this, like other autoimmune diseases, is where your immune system confuses good stuff in your body for bad stuff and then and then murders it. So in this case, when your immune system's going Friday the 13th on the cells that are used to create insulin, you obviously then can't make enough insulin, and without enough insulin, you can't properly regulate your blood sugar, and that leads to all kinds of problems. Now traditionally, to combat this and live a healthy life with type 1 diabetes, it requires constant monitoring of your insulin levels and regulating them, usually by means of injecting insulin. Not fun, it involves lots of getting pricked and poked with needles, and, and I'm glad I don't have it because I do not do good with needles. Like me and anti-vaxxers actually have something in common, and that's that we both hate vaccines. Scenes. For me, it's not so much that I think that that kid I went to high school with who flunked out in the 10th grade and now makes conspiracy theory videos from his mom's basement knows more than all of the world's health organizations and scientists. Just that I'm a little bitch when it comes to getting stabbed. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. All I'm saying is that I really feel for people who have type 1 diabetes because it involves lots of jibby jabbies. But that may be close to becoming a thing of the past thanks to science and stem cell research out of China, which could be bad because we've been pissing them off a lot lately and they might not share with us. Now don't worry you anti-choice nut jobs that think that frozen embryos are people but brown people aren't. It's, it's not that kind of stem cells. Now Chinese researchers took fat cells out of a 25 year old woman with type 1 diabetes and then they chemically treated them to behave like pluripotent stem cells, which is the type of stem cell that can grow into other types of cells in the body. Then they did some super science-y engineering stuff to, like, genetically engineer those into islet cells, and I, I think it's called islet cells anyway. They made these previously fat, now pluripotent stem cells into islet cells where they could reproduce into other islet cells, and islet cells are the cells that exist in the pancreas to create insulin. These are the cells that the immune system typically goes all axe murdery on in people with type 1 diabetes. Now, unfortunately, unlike Farnsworth anti-aging stem cells that you just rub all over your face, these ones have to be injected back into the body. But they did that. They injected it back into this woman's abdomen and it took, it, it, it like, melded back in with her body and then started producing its own islet cells. And because the immune system conveniently has this regulating system where it recognizes your own original recipe and won't attack that, so you know it's not attacking your own cells, with the exception of autoimmune diseases, it doesn't attack these islet, islet cells because it doesn't recognize them as the same type of islet cells that come out of the pancreas. And within three months, she was making enough of her own insulin naturally where she didn't need supplemental insulin to regulate her glucose levels. And over a year later, that is still the case. If it continues continues to be that effective, that is functionally a cure for type 1 diabetes. And that is huge. This is a disease that affects nearly 9 million people worldwide, and this could change their lives. Now, before we wave the victory flag over type 1 diabetes, it's important to note that this is a case study. There is still a ton of research that needs to be done to make sure that there is no unintended side effects from this. There needs to be ways to streamline the process to make it more effective as a mass treatment to treat as many people as possible. And there needs to be more testing done with more people to make sure that it's effective with all demographics or a wider range of demographics, and if it's not effective with all demographics, why? Unfortunately, medical advances like this take time, and for some time to come, people with type 1 diabetes are going to have to continue poking and prodding and jibbing and jabbing themselves until this advances further. But this discovery does mean that there's hope on the horizon, and for Americans, that hope is desperately needed. With America already having the most expensive and also worst health care in the developed world, and with the recently inaugurated kleptocracy already signing executive orders to attack price controls on pharmaceuticals and just the cost and access of healthcare for millions of Americans, it likely won't be long before Kangas Convict and his minions axe the $35 cap on insulin, forcing millions of Americans into financial hardship and life-threatening situations. Because he and the oligarchs that own him want you to go bankrupt and die from affordable and preventable causes. So hopefully these Chinese researchers will be able to help at least in this one small way save us from ourselves, both, you know, economically and healthcare-wise and, and quite literally, since it's a it's an autoimmune disease, and so yourself is, you know, killing you, and this would save you from your... Never mind. And the fact that scientists have seen that stem cells can save someone from surplus sugar by secreting the insulin their immune system suppresses, well, that is pretty mind-boggling.